Hi, this is Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at Windows Phone 7. So let's go ahead and turn the phone on. This is just an HTC Surround. I didn't want to do an unboxing since most of you have probably seen that already if you're interested in this phone. But basically it's uh, a 1 gigahertz processor, 5 megapixel camera with flash, and uh, that's pretty much it. It has 16 gig of storage. So let's go ahead and turn it on with the sleep-wake button on top. And this home page has been customized, or the or the initial lock screen. I change it to this brown color. It gives you your time, your day, your date, uh, anything on your calendar. I put doing a review and it also gives you any emails you might have. So I've got three in one email box, one in another email box. It also gives you your battery status, Wi-Fi, and 3G signal. So if I tap this you can kind of see it wants to open up. Let's go ahead and slide it open. So you can see this, the home screen I've customized. Um, it's just basically a bunch of brown tiles, or it may look a little orange on this screen for some reason, but uh, what you do is you have all these live tiles and they update by themselves based on who's posting what. So you can see right here there's like a little Facebook symbol, and as people post to Facebook, their, their pictures show up in the different events that are going on right now. You can see I have email, here's a Hotmail account with three emails, uh, Zolotech account with one email, messaging, these things will all update as the status actually changes. So weather here, it's 36 degrees where I'm at, and what happens is when this changes to say 40 degrees or 30 degrees and snowy, all of this will update. This is the me tile, and this is where I would update my status for Facebook, anything like that. Last night I put headed to bed, night everyone, and when I want to update that, I just tap there and update. If I want to go back, I hit back. You have a back window and search, so we hit back. Very similar to Android that way. And as you can see, I have a Netflix tile. I've got my Xbox Live, Internet Explorer, Calendar, Pictures, Music. So what these are, are these, they're called hubs by Microsoft. So any picture you take or any picture coming from Facebook is in pictures. They're all in one place right here. Any pictures uh, being updated. So these are any pictures on Facebook being updated. Let me see if I can fix that for you there. So these are any pictures on Facebook. Things like that. We go back. Apologize for the white balance there. It's a bit, bit white on that screen. Um, so let's go ahead and show you uh, email. So I'll go into my Google Mail. You can see it swings around. And let's bring the camera in a little bit so you can see maybe a little bit better. There we go. So here's my email. You can see a lot of YouTube uh, subscriptions, things like that. Now. What I did initially, like an iPhone, is actually I hit a button on an iPhone, you hit edit, and then you can select whatever you want and delete it. Well, what you do on this phone, I thought it was the same. So I hit this button, shows these little checkbox, and then I delete them uh, by using the trash bin down here. Well, while I was doing that, a little tip popped up and said, hey, that might not be the fastest way to do this. Uh, why don't you try tapping to the left of the email? So I said, okay, tap to the left, does the exact same function more quickly. Now I think it's really nice that Microsoft actually thought of that uh, since this is a dramatic change from their last operating system in that it just seems to be really well thought out. So let's go back and you get the idea with email and, and as you can see these update with how many you have. Now we have Netflix, we have Xbox Live which is, which is pretty nice so let's go ahead and open that. So there's Xbox. These are the games. Oops, there's these two games on top are games I currently have installed. You can try any game. There's a demo, just like there is on an Xbox. So if I want to try, I can tap on this. It swings around, gives its rating, gives reviews, some screenshots, and its price. And it actually charges the game price to your AT&T bill or T-Mobile, depending on which carrier you have this on right now. You can try the game first, and then you can buy it. So that's really nice. Every game has that. So that makes it a, a pretty nice uh, difference to other operating systems. If we slide across, every UI in this slides across, up, down, and left to right. That's my gamer tag, B-I-G-Z. Been on Xbox Live for about eight years now, so was lucky enough to get that. I actually modified the avatar within the phone. It changed on Xbox. That was kind of neat, even though I don't really 
care much for the avatar stuff. Uh, let's go back home. So there we have the home screen again. Now we do have the Zune player. To me this is probably the biggest thing. I use this for podcasts and music the most just like I do an iPhone or Android phone. So let's go into Zune and with a Zune pass for 15 a month of which 10 of the songs you get to keep uh, you get unlimited streaming downloads from over 6 million songs. I think it's maybe even much higher than that now. So if I go into music this has been synced. Here's my albums or I'm sorry artists. Here's the albums. We can tap or swipe. You can see it's Seal. There's a couple other people. Uh, Paramore. We'll slide to the right. There's our songs. There's our play playlists. There's our genres. And back to artists. So once we tap on these, we'll go into Amberlynn. You can see there's the album. We'll go into the album. And here's all the songs. I'm not going to play the songs because of copyright, but I think you get the idea. It shows some nice album art like this behind the song while the song is playing. And there's a text message. It's my wife asking me if I'm awake. And since I am, let's, it's a good time to show you text messaging. So let's go ahead and, and say uh, I'm doing a video right now. And you can see it says I'm doing a video tight now, which I messed up but you can see it's also uh, suggesting different words so let's go ahead and tap and hold there we go and it gives me suggestions I can scroll through and I'll just retype at this point or whoops wrong word right now and there we go and then I'll hit the button at the bottom to send can also attach something. So you get the idea as far as that goes. The keyboard's really nice. If you type something like NP for no problem, it will give you the chance to save that instead of trying to autocorrect it. It's a pretty nice implementation of a keyboard. It rotates quite fast. I would say more fluid than just about any phone out there. It's, it's pretty good. And then you can see I got another text message. My wife's saying, okay. So that's pretty nice. Um, let's go into the People Hub and show you that people hub aggregates all of your content from Facebook and all the different services like Windows Live so these are people posting on Facebook very simple but it just gives their name from where it was such as Facebook and what the status what a beautiful day you know different things uh, that people are saying pictures things like that these are recents and then you have all these are all the people in my contact list let's go back to the home screen so I think you get the idea there. Now, if I want to move these tiles around, what I do is I tap and hold. It pulls out. If I want to move it here or up here or wherever, I move it where I want, tap, it locks it in. If I scroll over here, here's all of the applications in general. They're alphabetized. And if I want to put another one on the home screen, such as eBay, I tap and hold. Pin to start, uninstall, or rate and review. So let's pin to start. It's going to put it at the bottom. I'll tap and hold, slide it up to the top, or oh, slide it up where I want it. We'll put it next to Netflix and lock it in. It's a pretty nice interface. Really simple, but it is lacking in a couple areas, but uh, such as cut and paste, tethering, um, and multitasking. It doesn't have any of those things other than the Zune player, which will play music while you've got the phone off or you want to look at email, that sort of thing. Uh, let me show you one more thing, and that's the camera. The camera on this is 5 megapixel, does 720p, and that's a standard across all Windows phones. They have to be that or better. Let me lock the screen. Now the nice thing is you can pull this out of your pocket, and these all have a camera button. Pull this out of your pocket and just hold this. It blips once with a vibrate and then turns the camera on. And that's it. So you want to take a picture, you hold, take a picture. And the idea is you can take a really fast picture because you don't have to unlock your phone. So turn it on. You don't have to unlock it. Go to a camera app. Wait for it to load and then take a picture. You can just pull this out of your pocket. Hit this button. Turns the camera on and you're in. So it works pretty well. And you can switch to video right here. And it has some nice settings as well. Scenes, effects, resolution, metering, flicker adjustment. It's, it's a really nice camera. I think it does a nice job. There are some better cameras out there, different depending on which device you get, but overall it's pretty nice. You can turn the flash off, 
and you always hit back to go back you can zoom and when you want to look at your pictures you just slide to the right just took that I don't know why I took that it's by mistake but you get the idea I think other overall it's a pretty nice interface and I can't wait to see what Microsoft's gonna do I know that in January they're gonna update it with uh, some cut and paste, hopefully some other things. I've heard them say that tethering will be available per the carrier and not necessarily the uh, Windows phone software developers themselves. So it can, or it does have the potential and and hopefully will be coming if, if you're interested in that. But at this time I think it's a pretty good first revision of a phone. There's more things I could show you like Marketplace, but I think you get the idea where there's reviews and that sort of thing. Uh, just like I showed you for Xbox Live, it's the same idea. Um, there's there's about 3,000 apps out right now, and that's going to grow rapidly. I think it's a pretty nice phone. Uh, Android and iPhone are, are big competitors to it, but uh, it, really lo it really depends on what you're looking for. And I wouldn't walk past this and ignore it. You might want to try it out. Everything's super responsive. It's just really nice overall. It has notifications at the top, and there's some just... It, you'll see, the more you use it, the, the more it grows on you. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. Please ask any questions. I'll be happy to answer. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.